I expect to be done with this. Fun fact, we're not. We did the special training last time. Oh, you can partner with people? And we're fighting against the Moon Club, I guess? Makeover? I don't think I need to do this. I don't know. I don't know how special it is. She is okay, game. change the stat at all so it's just like pick a color Ye yellow dude Stats? That just doesn't sound like a good idea. It costs money. I guess it's X triangle circle doubles. Is that like a charisma? Well, that's only an increase and it costs a lot of money. But screw it. All these just tank.
10 grand? I can beat up some guys for that much. Target Club Mars area customers. Increase the fan base in this area. Open for business. Yes, this is it. There's one stand out there. Your objective is to make as much money as possible before the shift ends. When a customer comes in and takes a seat, assign them a hostess. Different customers have their own preferences when it comes to looks or ability. Choose a girl that matches their type and they will happily spend a fortune in your club. Serving customers gradually tires a hostess out, lowering her hospitality points. Without HP, she'll be unable to provide high quality service, so let her last until the HP recovers. The money gauge at the bottom right corner of the screen shows how much cash your guests have spent in the club at that time. Receiving That's orders from customers also fills up the money gauge. Press RB when it is fully cut loose and trigger party time. Party time will put customers in a favored state that loses their inhibitions and purse strings. There are plenty of benefits to party time, like HP restoration for hosts. Charge up the money gauge to higher levels to make party time even more effective. It's happy hour without the discount. Why to approach a customer's table if any trouble arises? It's time for the check. If a hostess calls you for help, you'll be shown several options. Making the right decision can boost customer satisfaction or pacify any troublemakers. Checking out on tables is an opportunity to lend your staff a helping hand. Way too long and you may lose your chance, so keep your eye open and hurry on over when you spot a signal. This is happy with this hostess when it is time for the check. You can try suggesting an extension, the customer will stay longer. And go into a fever state spending money like there's no tomorrow getting mega rich excuse me getting mega rich customers to agree to an extension is a foolproof way to boost sales and keep girls milking the golden cash cow as your club makes a name for itself some customer in requesting a specific platinum hostess shift the girls around to fulfill these requests as they arrive it's got a favor result screen two results screen appear after closing up the first displays your profits the second shows your staff improvement for the day Hostesses and to earn experience points based on their number sales, level up a hostess, quickly assign her to guess one. The club will earn more fans depending on its performance. To increase your popularity in a certain area, make sure to target a win opening for business and send your customers home hat. As your popularity increases, so will the quality of your customer base and with it, your profits. To progress with a 5 star storyline, you'll need to reach a particular number of fans in each area. This is my best bet. hates everything. I am here to help. I don't know what that means. I did it. I'm a winner. I think that's a towel. Ah, uh, I'm wrong. You fuck.
しいお願いしますご延長はいかがでしょうか<笑>ありがとうございます<笑>ようこそどうぞこちら素敵だよありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。With a whistle. This seems like a good way to earn cash. You just sit. Phew, not too shabby. Still, short on guests and gals. There's no way outside of that daily grind. There's no way around that outside of the daily grind. If you wanted to hire new girls, I suppose scouting them around town is the best way. You can add new girls to the club roster by scouting talent around Sotenbori or try by trading in CP from the completion list at the table. I can't talk. What the hell? It'll be hard to outperform the competition with an empty roster, so try to fill it as soon as possible. And word of mouth from everyday business is one way to bring in new customers. But I hear signing deals with other local businesses is also effective. Some of Sotenbori's shops will sign partnerships deals with you for a price. Partner businesses will send their clients your way, growing Sunshine's fan base in a hurry. More fans means more customers, which in turn means more profit and deals with any hotspots. Makes sense. Scout for girls, partner up with local shops. Got it. Looks like I'm going to be busy outside the club, too. Absolutely. The whole city's our battleground. A whole lot to do, but good luck, sir. Take my best crack at it anyway. This place really needs more girls. 
hardly any point in opening the door as it stands now. Ah, there's girls over at the Grand that I got from Odyssey at that trade. As long as we got Nozomi, we're covered at the Grand. It'd be fine if I bring the rest over here. I'll put in that call now. Yumi. Ferrara. I'm amazed, if not surprised, Majima san. Hard to believe that was your first time. Keep that up, and you really might just make me beat those bullies back. Which bullies might those be exactly? Uh, you know. I'm here for your answer, as promised. Well, ready to sell this hovel to me yet? Told you before, the answer's no! I see. I was hoping to do this amicably. Shame. Alright, you lot. Hmm? What are you? Teach this stubborn fool the reality of the situation. Bruh. So you resort to violence in the end? You're a coward. <laughs> you didn't hear that. Six and stones. We'll see which side comes first. Which comes first. You give me what I want or you die. Either way, I can't wait. Do it. Hold up a second. What are you supposed to be? Name's Majima. Yuda Hans asked me to take over operations here, and as long as I'm standing, nobody's making trouble in my shop. New manager? I see. I'll grant you. It's a wiser choice than letting a dimlet like Yuda keep, Yuda keep running this stone hill into the ground. And you seem like you know your way around to fight. So you're the boss and the bouncer. Clever choice for an idiot. I'm impressed. Truly. What do you want us to do? Take this guy out too? No. I find myself curious to see how they plan to claw their way out of this hole. We can crush them any time. I look forward to being entertained as I just watch as I watch just how far you managed to crawl after making enemies of five stars. You were lucky today, Yuda san. And Majima san? Well, why don't you try your best? If I get bored, I'll drop by and swat you down like the flies you want. Bring it, Porky. Enjoy watching your wobbly little house of cards come down on top of you. Hope your ass is ready to get buried. We'll see how long all that big talk lasts. I advise you not to take the five stars lightly. Thank you, Majima-san. Don't worry about it. The real battle's just starting. We gotta whip this club into fighting shape fast if we want to take them on. We will. I'll give it all I've got, Majima-san. Anytime you want to open the club for business, just let me know. Anytime at all. I got my hands full with my own place too, so I can't be here around the clock. I'll make a point to drop by whenever I get a minute though. That's one of Sotenbori's five stars. This might be tougher than I thought. A host of hostesses. It started with Cabaret Club Czar. Or Omajima. Things are about to get interesting. I'm starting to get why Yamagata Han told me to check out cabaret clubs. But that ate up more time than I planned. I should get going back to the Grand. Stamina and spark. It's like you gotta beat the dick out of someone. What? What's up? Huh? Really, you leech? What's all this? Screw your little sales tax. You want us to pay a tax every time we buy something, you bloodsuckers? You'll bleed the whole country dry. I understand your anger is justified, but but it's a necessary evil for the sake of the nation's people. It's stuffed. You're gonna pay sales tax on that fancy suit that you're wearing, you damn bureaucrat. This tax is only meant to keep the common people down. Yeah, you vulture. That younger guy is sure taking some heat over some kind of tax issue. This is my day to run into the son of a bitch bureaucrat trying to spring the sales tax on us all alone in a back alley, no less. I, I don't like your tone, sir. I represent the voice of the general populace, and I'm here to tell you we're fucking pissed. Why don't you give... Why don't we give you a taste of public opinion, then you'll know what oppression feels like. Please, calm down, violence isn't the answer, don't do this. Uh oh, this pot's about to boil over. Well, I gotta help. Please, calm down. Shut it, asshole. Hey fellas, let's tone it down, no sense in ganging up on one guy, have a little pride, huh? What? You don't know who this cockroach is, do you? It's the pencil-pushing dickwad that came up with the sales tax. 
sales tax? What? Don't you watch the news? It's a new tax they're start, gonna start charging next year. Every time you buy something, they're gonna charge you 3% more as tax. Isn't that ridiculous? What? That is some bullshit. And this guy's the douchebag? That's highway robbery. Whoa, I about lost it for a second there. Listen, guys. I totally understand why it'd piss you off. But beating this guy to a pulp isn't gonna make the sales tax go away, is it? Who gives a shit? The government needs to know that the, what the people think of their shit policies in a way they'll understand. Direct action. Yeah. Power to the people. You ain't part of the solution, you're part of the problem. If you want to stick up for this mosquito, then we'll show you the power of the masses too. So what you're really after is blowing off steam. Sure. Let's see how far that gets you with me. Prepare for the revolution, asshole. The hair stroke. I'm, I'm infinitely more attracted now. I want, I want a heat move. Oh, you missed. How's that for the power of the government? I don't even work for the government. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, that, oh, oh god, oh dear. Ah, here's the back of your head is open, sir. inside of his corneas. I'm sorry. I was out of line. It won't happen again. Good. Good. Huh. Public outrage. Sure fizzles fast. Thank you for stepping in. Those people were out for blood. I'm Tayo Matsuzato. Tayo is in the sun. If I may, can I buy you a drink as thanks? That's a good name. I'm Majima. No need for any thanks, though. Oh no, I absolutely insist. Sounds like you got your work cut out for you, though. You some kind of political big shot? Well, I don't have much in the way of rank or power, but I am in a position to help steer the country. I can't- <gasps> Oops. Came to Sotenbori for a conference on the taxation policy, but I wasn't prepared to face the public about it. You're driving a tank called the government. Even if you're careful, people are going to be pissed when you steamroll them. But you're trying to make this country a better place to live, right? You gotta take some pride in that. You think so? I knew people would be unhappy with the new tax, but only on a logical level when I saw how emotional they got about it, well, it was daunting. They find out that the sales tax is only the tip of the iceberg and that there are more taxes on the way. I hate to think how people react. What? More taxes on top of sales tax? Right. Nothing set in stone yet, but we're set. We're considering many more effective ways of generating revenue streams. In fact, at tomorrow's conference, I have to give a talk on some of those proposals. That's so. Well, I guess everyone making such good money these days, you can't fault the government for wanting to get their hands in the pie. Yes, but as you've seen firsthand, we really have to consider public opinion. I wonder if we can really come up with a tax policy that everyone could live with. Good luck with that. Even if they're throwing cash into the fireplace, somebody wants the government to hold out its hand. Yeah, that's where I'm stuck. I haven't found the right balance and I'm a little lost at the moment. Well, I can't say I understand a lick of what you're trying to do, but take care of this country for us, alright? Wait, Majima-san, can you help me out once more? Hmm? You got another mob wanting to string you up? Oh no, not that. I wanted to get your views on taxation. What? What? I know less than nothing on the subject of taxes. That's why you're perfect, you see? I just had this idea. Perhaps someone who is completely ignorant of taxation can offer an entirely different perspective. You think? Please, Majima-san? It's no exaggeration. The fate of this country rests on your soldiers. Will you please give me advice on taxation? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, you win. Let's talk some taxes. Thank you. Your insight will be invaluable, but this is hardly the place for it. Can we go somewhere more appropriate? Sure. Lead the way. Now you better keep in mind, I don't know the first thing about tax policy. Don't expect much from me. No, that's exactly why I asked you. I know you'll have some unique insight not bound by typical conventions. So you're basically trying to strike gold in the mine? Well, let's just say you're not completely in the dark. 
Let's make sure you're not completely in the dark with a basic question. Sure. Majima-san. Do you know why the government collects taxes from the people? Keep the people down? Provide public services? To collect on our debts? Public services. We're providing public services, right? Ah, yes. That's exactly right. I'm sorry for asking such a basic question. Just as you said, Majima-san, taxes are collected mainly for providing public services. Education, medical care, the police, fire departments, and so much more are paid for by taxes. They pay for services that the people need to survive. Yeah, we gotta rebuild road. We gotta build roads and bridges and keep them work in order, right? But there's more to it than that. Exactly. They serve other purposes too, as it pertains to general wealth. But we don't need to go that much into detail. Like I said, there's a whole lot I don't know. Oh, but you aren't. Aren't you interested in where your money goes? It's always good to know more about taxes. Yeah, I'm getting a proper school in here. All right, let's shift to the main theme. Majima-san, if you were in the position of collecting taxes from people, what would you tax? Adult entertainment, tobacco, and Sato-san. I don't know what that last one is. There is taxes on, like, everything. I don't know. Tobacco's probably got the most coverage. Adult entertainment's niche, and I don't know what Sato-san is. Why not charge taxes on tobacco? Tobacco, you say? Since the government monopoly on taco, tobacco products ended a, three years ago, there has actually been a small tax on tobacco products. Yeah, I smoke myself, so I don't really want to pay a tax on them, but I suppose they're non-essential. If you're going to jack up the taxes, it's a non-essential stuff you start with. Make people be more likely to understand tax on smokes, right? See, a tobacco tax. Tax around 200 yen now. People will bitch and moan, but I think they'd still fork over 300 yen. At the 400 mark, though, I think I'd have a long, hard think about each pack being worth it. Yes, I think at that point I'd consider cutting back in my intake, too. What about 500 a pack? I'd probably quit. Cold turkey. Quit at 500? But if we raised it incrementally? Hmm. He'd start muttering all of a sudden. What else do you think you... What else do you think would have potential for taxation? I think something that's closely tied to everyday living would have the best potential. Tax tied to everyday living, huh? Pretty shrewd. Gas tax. How about jacking up the tax on gasoline? Ah, gasoline tax? Why not? People with cars are obviously living it up here. Why not skim a little more off the top? The price of gas is dependent on the cost of petroleum, so people experienced price hikes before. They should be used to the price creep, actually. There's also a provisional tariff on gas tax. Yes, there certainly would raise tariffs and taxes without much notice. Hey, why all the muttering? You're not feeling that one either? Oh no, far from it. I think it's a fantastic idea. I'll definitely follow up on it. Oh, good to hear. Majima-san, anything else? Do you have anything else to say on the matter of taxation? Anything else about taxation? Mm -mm. Oh yeah, right. I was thinking about that sales tax those goofballs were all riled up about. Yes? Next year, we gotta start paying 3% on top of everything we buy, right? Yes, that's how it works. Well, why stop at 3%? Sure, you can go in at that rate, but wouldn't you get more if you bumped it up? That would be impossible. Majima-san, you saw what happened. Just the 3% tax caused so much outrage. People wanted to tear me apart. Charge more would probably end in an open revolt. No, no, no. Tayo chan you ain't thinking. People are pissed off because you sprang a new thing on them. And you had to turtle up. You gotta think about the long game. The long game? Familiarity is a scary thing, my friend. Sure, people are bitching and moaning about this shiny new tax, but once it becomes a regular part of life, they'll move on to the next thing that they bitch and moan about. That's when you start gradually turning the screws. Every time you hike it up a little bit, you'll get more blubbering. But they won't be screaming more murder. Uh, they won't be screaming bloody murder like the first time you introduce the tax. You want to know why? Because they'll be used to getting screwed. Something they already accepted gets a little worse. It's just the facts of life doing what they do. If you really want to pull in the cash, you gotta have a plan to really amp up that sales tax. Much of a son, I'm getting goosebumps, and I think you're terrifying. Actually, are you even of this earth? You really want to know? N no, not really. Drinks already, dude. I got, I got froth mouth. And if the sale tax were to be raised, how high do you think it should go? How high should it go, huh? Starting at three percent. Let me see here. How high should it go in total? Eight max. Fifty is too much. I see, 8%. Actually, that's a good number. It's neither too close nor too far from the double-digit 10% threshold. There would be dissent among the people, but I imagine it could actually be workable. Yeah, but an 
from the bump up a 100 yen thing to 108. Maybe if we went from the initial 3 up to 5, waited a little longer, hiked it up to 8, then eventually we'd... Enough with the mother and your breath, Taiyo-chan. Uh, yeah, sorry, I was lost in my thoughts. Majima-san, I'm so glad I took the time to speak with you. You're a wealth of ideas. Yeah? Glad I was useful. This will doesn't begin to describe it. Please, take this as a token of my thanks. Dude, the primeval... Got some primeval spirit stone. Okay, I better get going. I need to get back to the hotel and prepare my presentation for the tax conference tomorrow. boy. Do your country proud, you hear? Will do, Majima-san. I'll be sure to work in your advice. See ya. Whew, never figured I'd be in a position to give a guy in the business of running our country advice. Ayo-chan seems to get a handle on how to go about jacking up taxes, too. Good for him. Wait, jacking up taxes? Did I just... If taxes go up, is it my fault? Nah, <laughs> no way. We just leveled up, so I'm gonna actually go over here and see. This way, right? Yep. I wanna see if I can do anything more with the breaker guys since I leveled up my tree a bit. were already there. I think those were the same too. Alright, peace. I didn't upgrade my brawler, so there's no reason for Kamaki wanting to talk to me. Dude, I gotta max out my... There's, um, what's his face? There's the shakedown. Disco. Dragon Tiger. M Store. Definitely need to. I just remembered that. Definitely need Of that drug. What's this place? Mahjong? Nope. There's a bad guy. Your shoe guy. Ow, 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 ow. Hey, down again? Oh, hi again. My feet, the pain spreading and worsening. Man, didn't I tell you to slow it down and walk? Yes, you did, but I was in a hurry. I'm sorry. Sheesh, how chapped were your lips? Ow, my feet. Hey, you gonna make it? Only I had some medicine with me. Medicine, huh? Hand over some medicine. What am I gonna hand over? Spark. Here, drink this. It'll help. Pardon? You mean I can have this? Yeah, all yours. Thank you so much. Whew, the pain's fading away. Thank you again. Good to hear. By the way, did you get those chapped lips of yours taken care of? Pardon? My chapped lips? Sorry, I don't understand. What's not to understand? You were the one hauling ass to get lip bombs. Were your lips about to fall off or what? Oh, I see the misunderstanding now. It wasn't for me. I was in the hurry because the girl I asked, the girl I liked asked me to get it for her in a hurry. Oh, gotcha. You were doing your girl a favor earlier. Yeah, basically. I run errands for her like that all the time. Really? You don't mind being her little errand boy? Go get me this, run out and get that? Not at all. She really trusts me, so I'm happy to go out and get things for her. Errands are opportunities for me to get her to notice me. Uh-huh. 
I can't shake the feeling that this girl is just using them, but if that floats his boat, I ain't gonna rock it. Because I was so diligent about running errands, she even gave me a nickname. When we first met, she just called me by my last name, so I'm making headway. That's so? What's she call you now? She calls me Aaron Coon. That ain't a nickname to be proud of. Girl's got a sharp sense of humor. Sense of humor. That's too deep. Listen, that nickname of yours, you do realize that she's turned you into her personal servant, don't you? Huh? Is that really how it looks? But even if that were true, I still have a crush on her. That's all well and good, but she's running your feet into the ground, literally. That medicine's a nice quick fix for now, but I doubt you're all healed up. Maybe you're right. I'll try talking to her and see if she gives me permission to stop running errands for a bit. He's not a quitter. I'll, I'll give him that. If she wants anything, I've got to be the one who goes out and get it to me. It, pfft, that wasn't even English. I've got to be the one who goes out to get it for me. Has to be. Well, I should be going. Thank you so much again. Aaron Coon, I understand you're wanting to impress the girl of your dreams, but don't let it turn into a nightmare. Karaoke, talk to that sub sub story there too. I want to square up with Duke Nukem. Got to visit Don Quixote on my way. Go to the pawn shop. But down here, do the sub story. Go to the Oh, I'll save just since we're here. Don Quixote. I have to I think I have to buy these sneakers for that running guy soon. be able to sell some stuff here at the pawn shop.
ありがとうございましたSomeone over here to talk to. Really wanted. Some of them's crafting materials, I'm sure. Lady, right. She's the wife of Akatani, the guy who got his face altered. Have you seen a little boy here? He would have been home alone. He would have been alone. Little boy? You mean yosuke -kun? Yes, that's right. But how did you know that? Well, actually, I got to be friends with your boy and played with him the other day. Oh, I have. Have you seen him today? I came to get him, but he's not here like he's supposed to be. Hmm, can't say I have. Oh, I found this ball just lying here. I'm positive that he was here earlier. That's worrying. I'll keep an eye out for him. Yes, please. I'll keep looking around here. Zuki kun has gone missing. I doubt he's gone far, though. If I spot him, I'll bring him back to his mom. Well, this has moved over here, so I have to assume. <laughs> Looks like you guys want to die again. You missed? Hey there, Yuzuki kun Your mom's looking for you. Mister, something wrong? Some scary people came when I was playing in the park. Scary people? Yup, they tried to take me away, so I ran away and came here. What? What were they like? They were big and scary. They kept calling me Akatani's brat. Akatani's brat? Akatani, the guy who got his face changed. They're onto him. Yuzuki kun your mom's waiting for you at the park. We gotta get you back to her. I'll keep you safe, alright? Okay. Oh, hello, Majima-san. Yuzukun, too. Akatani, have you seen your, I mean, Yuzukun's mom around here? No, I haven't. I just got here myself. Is there a problem? Well, see. Nah. Hey, Akatani, who are you people? Oh. Mom? Yuzuki, you're famous for being a lone wolf. No ties, no weaknesses. It wasn't easy trying to find a way how we could get to you. 
Our diligence paid off. After following you around, we noticed you were taking a lot of interest in these two. Are you out of your mind? I don't know these people. Oh, then it won't bother you if we rough them up, huh? Mom? Stop! No family history, no friends or lovers. You kept yourself invulnerable, you stone-cold snake. Who would have thought you'd have this clink in your arm chink in your armor? You don't want to see this bitch die. Take that knife and kill yourself. See? Keep doing what you're doing. Our business keeps taking hits we can ill afford. That said, we if we got word out, if word got out that we dealt with you ourselves and complicate how you do business, let's settle this amicably. Go ahead and kill yourself, then it's got nothing to do with us. See? What's wrong? It's a great two for one deal. You get to save both the bitch and the brat in return for your life. Doesn't it give any better than that? Promise? Sure. Hey, this is the woman you say you're gonna spare? Who might that be? What? You got numbers, but you take a hostage anyway. You're too chicken to get blood in your own hands? That ain't the test book definition of cowardly, then I'm rewriting the dictionary. We'd hope to keep this nice and clean, but that's not happening. When a job needs doing, I guess it's just best to do it get done. Akatani, you keep Yuzuki-kun and his mom safe. Got it. You're up first, you meddling asshole. You're dead. Meddling? Asshole? Oh man, are they in for something. That was choppy, but I like that. <laughs> you, you took all of us alone? Damn. The boys seem to have the wrong impression, so let me set you straight. The lady and the kid are strangers to Akatani. That's a lie and you know it. <laughs> if you don't want to believe me now, so I suppose I'll have to do a better job of convincing you. Leave it permanently? I don't care either way. It's your call, so make it. Ugh, I believe you, I believe. Don't you ever touch an innocent civilian. And you do, I will hunt you, find you, and I will end you. Got it. Never again. Mercy. Sure you can bring the menace out? You sure can bring the menace out in your voice. Huh. It's useful in my new line of work. Oh, Mizuki. Talk to him. Yeah. Sorry I had to go through all that. It's all because of me. You're the one always in the park? I'll never show my face around you again. If you could, please forgive me. Mister, thank you for protecting us from the bad people. Yuko, please take care of Yuzuki. Pardon? Yuzuki, from now on, you protect your mom. You got that? Yes. Okay, take care. Majima-san, here. This is for saving Yuko and Yuzuki. We got a Sakura storm. You sure about this? This don't feel right. With me around, my family will be in danger. This is how it has to be. Mom? That man, is he... Hmm? Yuzuki, do you know him? No, but... That... Mister! Let's play catch again sometime. A Taco Bell joke, you think? I don't know, that's probably just me being racist. Uh. 
I don't think I did my practicing music as Majima yet. I know just how to find out. I'm gonna sing my heart. Mm -hmm. Yep. Ah. But did I sing? These must be. Let's cure you. So I haven't done this before. <laughs> There's some like frame here. Wow, I had that totally off. Oh, let's go. I remember this. Oh, I missed that. I'm glad I'm really good at this. Jesus, it's so bright. It's like in a flashbang. 86 isn't bad, actually, when I was like doing judgment in the 70s. I do the same method I did before, where if I improve, I reset, and I give myself one mulligan. So if I fail twice in a row, I stop. I fail to beat my high score. I messed that up. I thought it was a rapid. I miss that. Let's 
sing your heart out. See the karaoke lyrics on the TV behind him. Okay. Wait. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm not rage quitting. I wonder if that didn't give me my money back. That took my money. <laughs> it said I gave it three tries. I don't know if I'm missing it. it again. I cannot get the I love you. I love me. One of those Barney looking ass. No. That was an improvement. It only took me three tries. But those weren't, those weren't mulligans. Because like I didn't play it through. Those I toasted it in the beginning. It's gonna be hard to improve on 95. That's like one of my highest scores.
See much. This the Siri hard improved one. Let's go. some parts I think that's it say we did what we could there and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do each of these with lively interjections and quit karaoke well uh, i don't think we've experienced mr majima's side of things <laughs>
to my channel to see if I've done these. Majima and I doesn't look like Go! Go! I pressed B. Oh my god. Yay! Yay! Slow. I missed that. Alright, well I sucked, but we heard most of Majima's shout interjections, and that's really what we're here for. The rest of it should be the same. Yep, not not great. We'll see if simple is the same style as a simple stupidity. the important part. Not much of an improvement. I'll just go with Lively for the last one. At least it'll be funny to watch me fuck it up. I gotta make sure not to miss the wise dude and sacrifice in my life. I messed it up. 
on that whole thing. That's always the special one. Save. Oh. Alright, you guys are gonna die and then I'm gonna save. Wait, what do I got here? Oh, I'll save the spicy. Dude, where's the Yakuza crossover for Negan? You got it. You got it. This phone's really bugging me. Might as well answer it. Yeah. Ah, hello. You answered it last, huh? This guy sounds awful chirpy. This is a public phone. Sure you got the right number? Ah, uh, yes. It's you I wanted to speak with. Hell are you? What do you want with me? Who I am doesn't matter. I don't know who you are either. The hell? You just said you wanted to talk to me. It didn't have to be you. Anyone who picked up the phone would be fine. In the end, you were the one who answered. That's fate, I tell you. No doubt about it. Listen, man, they have telephone clubs for this kind of thing. I can get the mood to get sweet talk to you. Ah, are you expecting me already? At least hear me out first. No funny business. I'm hanging right the hell up. I want you to play a game with me. This is sounding like funny business. The rules are simple. Just bring me the item I ask for. What do you say? First thing I'm going to say is what's in it for me. Page 413 of the phone book. Huh? Phone book under the phone. Open it up. I got a hundred thousand yen. Whoa. You win the game? I'll pay you an even bigger reward. How about it? Still think there's nothing in it for you? You in the habit of leaving that much cash in a phone book anyone can thumb through? You're a real nutter. I like that. I'll play your game. Really? Great. I appreciate it. That saves me the trouble of detonating the bomb I planted in that phone booth just in case you turn me down. The hell? Where? Haha. <laughs> I had time in my hands, so I installed a bomb in the phone's handset. One press of this button, and boom. You gotta be bluffing. Can you say that with certainty? It doesn't matter if you believe me or not. I don't need to trigger it anymore. Crazy fuck. Well, what is it you want me to get for this game? Hmm. 
For starters, how about you bring me a 9mm automatic pistol? A 9mm auto... Goddamn gun? What the hell are you going to do with that? Well, I wouldn't concern yourself with what I need. I'm only interested in seeing if you can procure one. <laughs> I'm a fan of getting put to the test, but I can score that for you. No problem. Have the cash ready. It will be. Would you get a 9mm automatic pistol? Bring it back to the payphone. Good luck. Sounds good. I'd like to save. The guy on the phone said he wanted me to get a 9mm automatic. Wait. Alright, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Comment down below whether you like or dislike the video, and make sure to check out the description for my friends and family's YouTube channels and other social medias. If you need to, you can hit the bell button next to the subscribe uh, icon, I guess, and it'll give you notifications for any uploads that I do, and that's the same for any other YouTube channels you subscribe to. It'll allow you to pick and choose any other content that you wish to view. At the very least, I hope you guys have a good day.